Okay, so today I'm going to show you guys really quick how to make a journaling shortcut. So, you know, you can keep up with your New Year's resolutions to journal. <laughs> so, first of all, you're going to want to open your notes app and make a new folder called journal entries. So, just type it in, hit save. I already have a folder, so I'm not saving it here as you can see right there, and that's where all of your journal entries are gonna get saved. So back to the shortcuts app, click the plus to create a new shortcut, give it a name, you can choose what color you want and what icon. I like the purple little book, so that's what I'm doing. And then we're gonna start by adding our first action. So search for choose from menu You'll add that and then this will pop up. And so start out by writing the question that you wanna see every time the shortcut runs. So I have, what have you written in your journal or have you written in your journal today? I know there's a typo, it was too late to change it. <laughs> and then you're gonna to wanna to change the two options underneath to yes and no. So yes, you have already written in your journal and no, you haven't. After that, you're gonna want to hit done on your keyboard and scroll to the bottom so that you can add the next block, which this one is going to be text, super easy. So once you add that, it'll show up at the bottom. You wanna drag it up underneath option two, which is also option no. I don't know why it didn't update, but it should say option yes and no. You can put something under yes if you want, but you don't really need to write in your journal if you already have. So you're in the text block. You can write whatever prompt you want for when you're journaling. I wrote, what did I get 1% better at today? You can write anything you want. There's a lot of fun little journaling prompts that you can look up. And the next block that you're gonna add is the change case block. And just move it up under the one that we just did and it's already filled in with what we want, need. We want the text to stay all uppercase so it stands out. Then look for the ask for block, move it up and it'll autofill with ask for text and then you can use the magic variable to select the first text box that we did, not the updated text. So once you filled that in, then you can add another block and we're going to add another change case block. You'll want to move it up again and basically what this one's going to do is it's going to change everything that you type into the answer the prompt into sentence case. So it makes it look nice for you. Now we're going to add another text block and this is actually optional. I pretty much just did the exact same process with a different prompt. So whenever I do this journal shortcut, it'll ask me two questions. You can keep doing this. You can have like 10 questions <laughs> or you can just stick with one question. It's really just whatever you want. It's your shortcut. So here I added, what am I grateful for? And I've had all different prompts, just as basic as like, what do I want to write in my journal today? To how have I let God prevail in my life today? To what made me really happy today? Or what was the most exciting thing that happened today? You can Google all sorts of journal prompts to put in there. So now we're going to add a different block, the format date block. And you'll move it up as usual. And you're going to want to click that variable and remove it and then replace it with one of these smart variables. If you scroll through, you can find the current date and that is what we want. And if you click that drop down arrow, you can customize your date however you want. Um, I like having a, the medium date and then I actually like having the time on a separate line. And this is also easier to combine the text later. So I add another format date 
and then with the current date and the drop down then I do none on the date and then I put short on the time but it, you can mess around and see what the different time formats are and see what you like that's just what I like to do and then you're going to add a list block this is where it's all coming together so you get that list block pull it up and then you're going to start using the magic variables to pull in the list items. So you're going to start with the first formatted date and then the second formatted date and just keep adding list items. Then you're going to scroll all the way to the top. You want the first updated text and that's going to be the uppercase first question. And then you're going to go up to the second updated text, which is the answer to our first prompt, but in sentence case. And then you're going to do the same for the second prompt or whatever other prompt you have. This is why we put the prompts in uppercase so that when later on in the next block, we're going to combine text. Once the text is combined, then the uppercase prompts will be separate from your answers so yeah just add the combine text block and you're going to combine the list by new lines which is the default you could add them by something else but new lines just gives you like a, a return i guess is what they call it you just hit the enter button <laughs> and then to end it all you're going to add a create note and you're going to do it with the combined text and put it in your journal entries folder. And then if you run your shortcut, you'll see it'll ask you the prompt. You can answer it. Also, if you hit that you, yes, that you had already done your journaling for the day, then it'll just go away. But if you still need to write in your journal, it'll give you both prompts. That's what it's gonna look like. And if you open your notes, it'll have the date, time, both prompts, and both answers. And to finally end this out, you're gonna go back to your shortcuts menu, go to the automation tab, and click the plus. Then do personal automation. Um, I like to write my journal at night, so I'm gonna do mine at wind down, when wind down begins hit next you can really make this whatever time you want you can even set an alarm and then you're gonna hit your well search for shortcuts and then run shortcut and then if you click on that you can choose which of your shortcuts you want to run we want to run journal then you just hit next unless you want to do something else fancy right now we're just doing journal and then I don't like it asking me to run the shortcut so I always turn that off and then you're done. There it is on the bottom of my list. So now anytime your wind down starts, this journal prompt question is gonna pop up. You'll be able to choose whether you have or have not written in your journal so far. And if you haven't, then you can answer the prompts and it'll be saved in your notes with the date and time so you can remember all of the great things that you're going to do this year. And if you need more of a slower step-by-step, -step, you can head over to my blog where I have a post all about how to build this.